Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your December 2018 channel messages from Spirit and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, this isn't going to resonate with everybody so don't make it fit. Take what you want, leave what you don't and check out your other signs as you'll often find messages for you in those as well. So first off I want to say happy birthday to all you Sagittarius's out there. Um, it's going to be an amazing birthday month for you guys. Uh, so many new beginnings happening. So many chapters closing out. Um, just a big push in the right direction. Um, when I was meditating on your guys' sign, uh, the number one was your number. And why wouldn't it be the number of new beginnings? Um just very exciting for you Sagittarius's. Um, for some of you, uh, truth is coming out about a relationship. You guys have a strong bond. There is no denying the connection that the two of you share. Um, there has been some troubles in the past uh, with outside influences, with third-party energies. Um it's time to let that go. It's time to stop living in the past, whether you realize it or not. And, um, and let the mistakes go that, um, this person did in the past, because for this group of you, this is a twin flame that you're dealing with. And before you can come, uh, back into a union with this person, the past has to be forgiven. It has to be moved on from and um, no longer affecting you. Uh, before a twin flame union or reunion can happen, um, you have to heal from all these, all the hurts, all the hurts that they caused, uh, hurts of past relationships, family, past lives, um, until you are in union with yourself, um, in alignment with yourself and in the right path. Uh, union can't happen. This is a big block for this group of you. It's time to let it go. Um, for some of you, you're going to have a major decision coming to you in the first week of December. This is going to cause you to have to um, react quickly, make a decision quickly, um, and you're going to need a clear head to do it. Make sure, um, yeah, make sure you are keeping yourself grounded keeping yourself centered um, and make sure you have a clear head about you when you make a decision. It's going to require you to make a quick decision, but don't make a rushed decision. Um, the difference is uh, quick is thought out and rushed is made in a hurry without um, having any thought to it. So make sure you're not rushing um, and making a bad decision. For some of you, um, for some of you, you have a lot of different things coming up. Um, it's like you get one thing figured out and the next one pops up. You get that figured out and it's just, um, you're kind of feeling like you're overwhelmed, bombarded. Uh, this is, this is going to be the beginning of a turning point in your life. Uh, we are, we are entering a time where you, uh, it could go one or two ways. I'm not saying if you make the wrong choice that it's never going to come back around for you. So don't fear that. Um, but this, for those of you who make the best de decision for yourself, um, do what makes you happy, um, do what's going to be best for you. This is a turning point and it's going to propel you into a very successful, uh, life just in general, like work, love, family, um, <clears throat> so really take the time to figure out what it is that you want, what's going to make you happy, not what your mom wants, not what your boyfriend thinks you should have, not what the neighbor wants. Make sure it is what you want and make decisions for you and follow your heart. And this is going to be a turning point, um, into a wonderful, wonderful journey moving forward. For some of you, 
you, uh, somebody's coming back from your past. Yeah, somebody's coming back from your past and uh, you're going to need to have a heart to heart conversation with this person. Uh, they kind of want to sweep under the rug what their mistakes were in the past. Um, you really need to express what hurt you, why it hurt you, and and um, discuss your boundaries. Make sure this person knows what you will and won't put up with um, because they uh, could possibly try to push the envelope again. And it's only going to lead you to more pain. If you have a heart to heart conversation, set your boundaries and stick to them. This person is going to um, respect those. And um, I do see this relationship being a long term um, for some of you life partner relationship. But um, you can avoid a lot of hurt in the in your forward progress if you um, set those boundaries now. Um, for some of you, you are your partner. Uh, you or your partner is really overthinking something. You're thinking that something is happening when it's not, or you're thinking something isn't happening and it is something along those lines. They could go a day without talking to you. And all of a sudden you're like, well, why aren't they talking to me? Oh my God, I bet they're at so-and-so's house. And, and I bet she's over there. And you know, like your mind just starts uh, talking you into ridiculous things. Um, it's either you or your partner, because I see both sides, um, <clears throat> it affecting, uh, try to keep your mind from racing. Uh, some people are just busy for this group of you. There's no reason to fear their silence, um, because they are being faithful for some of you. you you share a connection with somebody, um, a lover in your life that is 110% totally infatuated with you. They are addicted to you. They are addicted to the way you make them feel. Uh, they are addicted to your personality, uh, your sexuality, your just everything, your mind, body, spirit. Um, they are just 110% into you. Um, be cautious. This person doesn't become dependent on you, however, for their emotions. Uh, this is a beautiful relationship. Don't get me wrong. This is a divine relationship. Um, so it's definitely good. Uh, but make sure they're not relying on you um, in the future to make them happy. To, to um, you know what I'm saying. For some of you, uh, you're frustrated with, with a situation that you're dealing with. Um, you're dealing with a person that you have been hurt by in the past, um, but yet you still have unconditional love for this person and you're being, you're being overly cautious and it's frustrating both sides, but you're frustrated that they don't see your point. Uh, you don't want to keep bringing up the past, but they keep asking you, well, what is up with the wall you have, or, you know, something along those lines and you don't want to keep bringing up, boy, you had chopped my heart in a million pieces last time. And I don't want that to happen again, but yet they keep bugging you and bugging, like asking you and asking you, um, it's time to have a heart to heart with them and just express, listen, I don't want to keep bringing up the past, but this is why. So let's just drop it. I'll take it down in my own time. And they are going to respect that as long as you sit them down with a, uh, a, I don't want to say sympath compassionate reason. Don't just send them in a text like, because you shit on me the last time, you know, um, make sure you sit them down and ex express your feelings to them. And they're going to be respectful and understanding of that, but they don't want to feel attacked either. Um, for some of you, you are tired of being a secret in somebody's life. Um, this could also be a twin flame, uh, soulmate situation. Uh, You have been back together with this person for a, uh, a little bit now, a month or two, maybe a little longer. Um, and you're ready to tell the world. You're ready to tell everybody they're back to well, you guys are back together. You're ready to go out in public and sit down at a restaurant, and not worry about who sees you. And this person is like 
putting the brakes on. They are trying to hold back. Um, that's because this person is not completely done with their ex. Uh, they are currently still in the divorce process. They're worried about something with their finances um, being affected if their ex finds out about you or their ex knows that they went back to you. Um, just uh, be respectful of this. And and I for this group of you, I see you should probably listen to your partner. Uh, they know this person best and um, they're not doing it to hurt you. They're doing it to protect you for one. And to um, get out of that relationship with the least amount of damage possible. It's not that they are trying to hide you anymore. It's that um, they don't want uh, they don't want it to become an issue of getting out of that other relationship. Um, have no fear. They love you um, unconditionally. They love you and want to be with you. But uh, but you got to be a little bit more understanding of the situation they are trying to leave behind in order to make a better life for you and them. So um, they're actually doing it in a large part to protect you, to protect your guys' connection and to protect your future. So uh, try to try to um, ease back on the demands of this person and you're going to find a lot more success. Uh, for some of you... Um, There's a big change coming for you guys around the 5th or 6th of December. A big change. Um, it's a change in like your home, your family, where you live. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a big shift going on. You could be coming into some money and it's allowing you to change your living situations. Um, you could be living with somebody else and you want to be out on your own, something along those lines. The fifth and sixth are going to be great days for you. Um, for some of you, you're having money like come towards you and uh, you weren't expecting it. So this is going to help you move uh, locations or homes as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just unexpected. Yeah. For um, some of you, you have a, a balance coming towards you, a balance in karma. Um, you left somebody or they left you. Um, it's been years, like one year to plus, um, and you just haven't been able to get quite over this person. You, you divorced them, but yet three years later, you're still like something isn't complete yet. Something isn't finished and I can't figure out why. Um, this is karma. Uh, karma is dealing them there or whoever was at fault or whoever did the other one wrong is receiving their karma. So the karmic justice scales are going to be balancing out. And, uh, yeah, and it's definitely, most definitely, balancing out in your favor. Um, yeah. Yeah, and you've been trying to figure out, like, what am I supposed to be learning from this? What? Why did that happen? What was my lesson? Did I learn the lesson? Like, I'm confused. I can't figure out why. This just hasn't quite made me feel like it's closed chapter in my life. Um, you're going to feel that closure with this uh, next energy coming through. You you are figuring out what your lesson was. Your lesson has been learned. Karma is being served. And uh, your that part of your life is going to be allowed to close out. And you're going to feel it. Um, for some of you, uh, somebody uh, left in the past. And you feel like you just can't move on. You don't know where to go from here. You don't know how to get over this person because you feel like there were secrets. Um, you feel like you have to get to the bottom of what they were hiding and you have to get answers before you can move on. You're going to have the opportunity towards the end of December, uh, 
beginning of the first of the year, this person is going to return. Um, you are going to get some of the truth, some of the answers, but uh, you're going to have to be okay with that because this person isn't going to offer much, but it's going to be enough for you to be like, all right, now I remember why this didn't work out. I'm gone. Uh, so uh, continue to do that self-healing, continue to do that work. Uh, I suggest you meditate at the end of the day and just uh, take the time to acknowledge your thoughts, your feelings, and then literally let them go. Literally tell yourself, I'm no longer going to let this affect my life. I'm no longer going to think about this any longer. Um, acknowledge those feelings and, and your self healing is going to begin to, uh, go at a more speedy manner because this has just really held you up. Um, some of you have new love that has entered your life and you're just, you're scared. You're scared to love again. You're scared to be hurt. Um, this person could be, a another Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aries, heavy Aries and Leo, um, could be a cancer, a Virgo. Those are the signs I'm seeing right now, but don't hold too much power over the signs because this is general, but, um, it's going to be safe for you to love for this group of you. These are life partners coming in for you, especially if you have just gotten out of a relationship, um, in the past one to seven years. Um, and you're still scared to love these people are life partners coming in for you. They're going to help you heal. They're going to help you move forward and they're going to help you, uh, experience the love that is meant for you. That is love without expectation. Um, love without blame, love without restrictions. And it's just going to be very healing for you as well as just happiness, bliss, it's just going to make you feel like you're on top of the world. So don't, don't build your wall up too high that nobody can get over it because the, not everybody's going to hurt you like those of the past. And these people are, are amazing people that are coming in for you. Um, for some of you, uh, happiness is here for you guys. It is returning, but you must realign things in your life. Um, it's time to rewrite your story. It's time to take that pen back, rewrite your happily ever after, rewrite what you want in the future, what you want out of a person, because we're not the same people at 22 as 42. Um, we don't want the same things. We don't have the same goals. Um, we've learned many lessons in our life up to that point. We know what we want, what we don't want. And it's probably not the same as the 21 year old you uh, that didn't have a care in the world or a responsibility or whatever your situation is. So it's time to rediscover yourself. Um, it's time to find you find who you are, the happy you, the happy person, the person you were before all the hurt, before all the pain, you're still that same person. You're just not the same person that, or you just don't have the same wants, needs, and goals as that person. So dig deep, dig within and find that person, that soul that you were before you experienced pain, hurt, um, suffering, lack, you know, there's so many, uh, negative emotions that we experience in life that a lot of times that covers up the happy us. So it's time to rediscover you. Um, rediscover the person, the person you were before the harsh world got a hold of you. Um, it's time to rediscover the meaning and the purpose behind what you've been through and find the meaning and the purpose of what you're here for. Um, Sagittarius, for the majority of you, you guys are going through spiritual awakenings. Um, you are going to start ascending very quickly in 2019. So please, please, um, I encourage you to meditate daily or some people say pray. I mean, meditation is so many things. Um, remain grounded, remain in this moment, um, because, uh, you guys are going to be coming more psychic 
Uh, you're going to have more encounters with the supernatural, with the spiritual world. You, A lot of you are going to start seeing the afterlife. Um, and for some of you, you guys are going to be scared. Uh, stay grounded. Stay in the moment. Uh, do a protection prayer. You can find them online if you don't know what to say just to kind of get an idea. But I do encourage you to, after you get the idea of what uh, a protection prayer is, to write your own. Make it your own. Um, some of you are going to meet your guides soon. Some of you are astro traveling. Sagittarius is one of the forefront leaders of the psychic um, medium uh, world, I guess you could say, at least as I see it, um, Sagittarius and Pisces, you guys are right there in the front. Um, you guys are honestly in the month of December, beginning the journey of mastering your own soul. If that is what you want, if that is what, what should be what everyone wants, who doesn't want to be the master of their soul, their feelings, their emotions, their life. Um, <clears throat> you guys are really, really ascending and it's very exciting. And I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am for you because it's a beautiful journey. Um, it can be scary at, at first, but just ask your angels to, to keep you safe and you'll, uh, figure out what to say in your protection prayer, but that's for a lot of you. So now I don't know why I just went way off, way off topic with what I was saying, but, um, back to discovering your meaning and purpose. Um, oh yeah, that's why I got sidetracked because a lot of your guys' purpose in this life is to lead the, uh, lead the collective to, um, educate and to help people be more aware, to be more conscious, to, to find their purpose in life is to enjoy life. It's having meaning behind everything you do. And you know that that helps the next person. Um, and that should be everybody's goal. If we all helped each other, we wouldn't be in the world we are today. Um, for some of you, you guys, um, have experienced endings, uh, recently. Um, in order for you to have true love come in for this group of you, you had to release that person. So don't, um, don't, um, keep revisiting, uh, the past. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, you need, for some of you, you need to follow your intuition about somebody that you're dealing with. Your gut is telling you what you need to know, but you keep revisiting it. That's what I'm seeing um, with that. Um, it's time to allow endings. If you feel that something isn't right, it's not right. Follow your gut, your intuition. Your guides are trying to tell you um, what to do. So trust your intuition. For some of you, you are expanding and growing. Uh, you're going to be spending more time, energy, and love on yourself. And you're going to, uh, you're going to really begin to deal with inner feelings and learn to go with the flow. Um, the more we resist something, the more energy it takes from us, the more we feel depleted and we didn't get anywhere anyways, because as we all know, everything happens for a reason and, and that's that. So, um, some of you are trying to stop an ending let it go. Um, some of you guys are realizing that I'm not going to, uh, waste Jupiter's amazing energy. Um, and you are hopping on board to, um, to drive the, the car of life. You are taking things into your own hands and you are really going to take advantage of Jupiter being back home and windfall is going to come in just in every area of your life, not just money, um, you're going to find success. You're going to find success within yourself, within your career, your family, your friends, your, 
um, co-worker. It's just going to be uh, amazing if you let it. If you take advantage of the luck that Jupiter brings, um, you're going to you're gonna go places in 2019. And I've said this before, but mark my word, 2020 is even better than 2019. So 2019 is going to be freaking fabulous. And then we go to 2020, which is going to be out of this world. So take advantage of Jupiter being home for the next year until next November. And then it, it spans out clear until, uh, at least September of 2020. Um, just expansion in every area of your life. Um, yeah, just make sure you know where you're going. Um, make sure you know what you want, set your goals, set your intentions, set your plan, because if you don't drive the car of life, life will drive you to somewhere you don't want to be. So make sure you know where you want to go and you're going to get there. Co-create with the universe. It's going to be amazing for you. You have to believe there's so much power in believing that you wouldn't believe it. So, um, pick your dream, dream as big as you can and believe it because it's going to come for you then. Um, for some of you, um, it's time to raise to the occasion. It's time to, um, time to be confident in yourself, confident in what you can offer and take the lead. Some of you, you're dealing with a partner who's going through a major life transformation. They are going through a spiritual rebirth. They are just bombarded. Um, make sure you help, uh, them encourage them, uh, help them move forward because they're not quite sure how to do it. They're scared. They're fearful. Um, and it's going to be a little bit easier with you by their side. For some of you, um, you're going through, you're, you're going through an awakening of sort. You, um, you need to go within you. Uh, there's somebody in your life that you love so very much that you want this to work so bad, but, um, you have to deal with your own demons before love can, can, uh, before you can love somebody else, you have to love yourself. So it's time to deal with those inner issues. Some of you are dealing with addictions. Some of you are dealing with hurts of the past, um, like childhood abuse, uh, abandonment, things like that, that you haven't quite dealt with. It's time to go within and deal with those because this person's ready to move into an engagement with you and a marriage with you. And, um, the universe is, is like, hold up. You got to deal with your stuff first. So, um, try, I know it's hard. Um, I have had some things in my childhood, you know, I've had so many things I've had to, to work through, to get over, to heal from, so I know it's very hard. It's never easy, but the, the weight that's lifted off your shoulder when you can finally let it go is, is reward in itself. Then you're going to have somebody come in and, and spend the rest of their life with you. Um, for some of you, you're feeling very emotional. You've been emotional wreck for a couple months now. You cry on the drop of a dime, you know, over the silliest things because you ran out of ketchup and you really wanted ketchup and now you're crying. <laughs> this is a, a shift in your energy. You are, you are receiving downloads in your sleep. So then when you're awake, you're just exhausted. You're overly tired. You know, when a child is like so tired that everything makes them cry, that's kind of what we're going through. So, um, it's time to, uh, time to, <laughs> go or get out of that hermit mode. You've kind of secluded yourself because of this break free from that, get out there, get some sunshine and some interaction and it's going to be okay. This is just, this is just your emotions trying to, uh, trying to get their head wrapped around this new, these new downloads that you're experiencing. Um, I have been one that is just super emotional lately, you know, it's just ridiculous. So, um, you guys, uh, you guys are going to be okay. It's just, uh, your emotions trying to level out. 
for some of you, uh, you feel like you lost your way, like you lost your true path and you have so much to give to others and you do daily. Um, but you're not giving to yourself. Make sure you feed yourself that soul food, um, that you give to everyone else. People flock to you guys. Um, cause you're so caring, so compassionate and you give, 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 give. Um, I see a lot of you are counselors, social workers, nurses, um, anything in the humanitarian field, you volunteer, your friends are who, or you are the one your friends run to when they have a problem. Um, and, and you're just tired. And even if you don't think you're tired, your body's saying, I'm tired. Um, take a step back and let yourself replenish that energy. Uh, pamper yourself. Do what you have to do to keep your energy up because it's very important, especially those of you who are going through this huge, huge, massive uh, transition into your spiritual, uh, a deeper spiritual self, because um, that's going to be exhausting in its in its own right. So, uh, yeah, I just heard make sure you're eating right and sleeping regularly as well, because a lot of you are getting your downloads in your sleep. For some of you, um, for some of you, you're finally healing. You're finally going to experience long lasting peace. Um, your mind, body, and soul is finally going to be quiet and, um, not be constantly racing. And once you surrender and you let go, the real you is going to emerge. The real you is going to break free and you're going to find oh, just such a peaceful, um, just a peaceful atmosphere. When you find that peaceful atmosphere, you're going to realize that your psychic abilities are wow. Because right now you can't hear, you can't see, you can't sense, you can't feel because, um, you're, you're lost out in the, in the world, trying to fight for, for whatever it is, when you surrender and let yourself go, you'll find that peaceful place. And that's when you're going to realize how much that you're actually con or, um, conversing with spirit, with source. So, uh, very exciting for, for that group of you, for some of you, uh, it's time for you guys to release the trauma of the past. This has really had a grip on you. Um, let the past <clears throat> go. If And this is so hard for this group of you. But I, I promise you that lots of healing is going to happen in December. Your struggle with a situation in love is going to settle itself. Good luck is coming for you guys. Hallelujah. Some important dates for you guys. Uh, December 6th. There's going to be a huge change in your uh, atmosphere, your living environment, your home for the better. Um, nothing to fear. There is no negative for December, Saggies. Uh, I mean, there is, but you know what I mean. December 6th, a big change. Something's coming in for you guys. Um, December 12th, a major download. Make sure the night of the 12th, you guys are uh, getting lots of sleep, drink lots of water before you go to bed. I know it sounds silly, but you would not believe how, uh, dehydrated you'll wake up if you don't. Um, December 14th, uh, an important message is coming in. It's a fast, uh, incoming message. So it's either text or, uh, email, a very important message regarding a career change or a job change is coming in for you. Good news. Um, the 15th is my birthday. <laughs> um, the 18th through the 21st, somebody's going to revisit you from your past. Um, this is a, this isn't, uh, expected, but it's going to be a welcomed visit. Uh, this could be a friend from childhood. I don't see it like a lover. It's somebody from your past that you have not seen in years. Um, and you're going to enjoy, uh, catching up with each other. And this friendship is going to re, um, reignite. Like it's going to be like, you guys haven't 
went a day without talking to each other. And they're going to become an important part of your life uh, through your career field, your work field. This person is going to come in and and help you in some shape or form. Um, the 23rd, there is going to be a huge shift of energy. This is going to bring twin flames back in. Um, if you're in separation from a twin flame and it's been longer than six months, um, I'm seeing six months to four years. These people are returning back, especially if they are a uh, Aries, a another Sag, a Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. Those are the ones that I'm seeing pro predominantly. Um, yeah, they're coming back uh, and wanting to move forward. Uh, I am seeing uh, December 31st, many engagements are coming, uh, wedding engagements. So congratulations for those people. Um, I'm not going to say the zodiacs that I see for that because I don't want to ruin their surprise. It ain't just going to be no, hey, you want to get hitched? It's They're going to do something big. So I'm not going to ruin that. But there are um, there are rings coming in the future uh, at the end of December. Also, uh, the 27th, there... Yeah, there is somebody that is going to, uh, they're going to help you with your ascension process. They're going to help you awaken and tune in your, uh, your senses. They're going to help you and teach you how to speak with your guides. Um, this is somebody you've never met before. You are going to meet them like through a platform, um, on media of some sort, uh, this person's going to help you leaps and bounds, uh, ascend into your spiritual self. So also, um, yeah, yeah, this is somebody you've never met before. Yeah. Um, it is important though, they're saying to make sure that you are, uh, balanced, uh, balance those chakras. Uh, I am a huge, huge believer in Reiki. I am a, uh, I have received my, uh, master in that. So I just love it. It is so good for you. There is a large group of you that your fifth, uh, chakra, it would be, it's your first and your fifth. So that would be your root and, uh, yeah, your root and your throat chakra really need balanced. Um, and when your root and your throat are in line, your third eye will open. So, you know, your third eye is your sixth chakra. So your first and your fifth, it'll open your third, a large, large group of you. So if you are wanting to, uh, open up those abilities that you, um, are going to have, um, coming in for you, make sure you balance those. Um, and you can do it without, you know, Reiki, but, uh, Reiki is just amazing. So, um, if that's something you can look at or want to look into, um, yeah, yeah. So, um, that's a need of balance. Also, uh, there's a small group of you that your heart chakra is not, um, is not balanced, right? But that's a small group of you, really. Your root and your throat is what is the largest group. Um, and if you're interested in distance attunements, um, email me at indigostarot at gmail.com. I do offer those, um, just FYI, but by no means am I putting in a shameless plug, but Really, if you can find someone in your area that can do it in person, it's amazing. It will change you. It will make you feel so much better. But I do offer distant attunements for those of you who don't um, know anybody in your area. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for you. December is going to be such a beautiful month in so many different ways. Um, some of you are further in the process than others. Uh, some of you are going through some difficult times, but 
it's still going to be a beautiful month for you because we have to get through those hard times to get to the good times. We have to go through that healing to get to the other side. So um, just keep taking it one day at a time. You're doing great. And you guys are going to have an amazing, abundant December and a beautiful 2019 um, and 2020. I'm so very excited for you guys and well, me as well, because I'm a saggy. So I'm saggy everything. I swear. I'm saggy sun, moon, Venus, Capricorn, or not Capricorn. Uh, uh, no, I forgot what I was going to say. Sun, moon, Venus, and Mercury are all in saggy. I'm a lot of fire and my rising is Aries. So yeah, I'm a whole lot of fire, but anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I want to thank you so very much for um, watching my video for letting me ramble now for 40 minutes. Um, I much appreciate you. You are such a blessing to my life, to my journey, to my path, and it wouldn't be the same without you guys. So I want to thank you and, um, God bless.